All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. Got another video for you today. We're going to be talking about the 2022 Polaris Ranger XP1000 Crew Cab Edition once again. And we've had this now for probably two years. And I did an eight month review on it. You can check out that video, it's got some good information out there. But after the eight month review, I started noticing an issue where when it rained really hard or if there was snow that was sitting up on top of the roof and started melting, we were actually getting some leaks inside where it would actually drip onto the passenger front passenger seat. And what was going on is there's two pieces to the roof. You have the front piece and you have the rear piece, right? And the rear piece overlaps the front. And what we were noticing was just a little bit of water was seeping in there and kind of dripping um, on my wife or my kids when, when they were in the, in the seat there. So we went ahead and put um, some like tape on top there. I th we used a Gorilla waterproof tape and it has worked really well, but it's, it's kind of starting to leak a little bit again. So we're going to go ahead and replace that today. Let me know if you guys have had this issue where if you have a Polaris Ranger or if you have another brand that's a crew cab, let me know if you guys have issues with it leaking the roof. And let me know what you guys use because I'm, I'm willing to explore different options. But we're going to try to throw some more tape up here on here today and show you this guys' process. So it's a gorgeous day out here in Ohio, especially for February. So what better way just to have a good time. Hope you guys enjoy it and learn something. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get to it. All right, there you go. So this is what I did. We got that tape sealed right there. What we're actually going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I think it's leaking right here where it kind of popped up again. You can see that. We're going to wipe this down, clean it up a little bit. And we're, I think we're just going to go ahead and just put a little one right above here and just see if that works. I don't want to replace the whole thing. I don't have enough tape for that. But you could also caulk it too, I guess, and then put this tape on. But we're going to clean this up and then uh, throw this tape on and see if that fixes the issue. I think it's actually just leaking on the back side. So we'll start with the back. I might have to buy some more tape, but this will at least get it. Cause I don't, it's tapered off in the front where anything would run down. So I don't, there's no reason why it would leak from the front. Plus we have seals. We're gonna wipe that down. Now we're gonna dry it off a little bit. Obviously you can't, you can't do anything um, to anything dirty. So you got to make sure you clean it off before you try to apply any type of adhesive stuff. So we're going to let this dry and we'll show you how to put it on. All right, I already unrolled it, but this is the type of tape that we have. It's a Gorilla um, Tough Tape. It's strong and it says it's good performance and water must be, uh, will keep water out. So we'll see if this works. We already cut it, like I said, and we're gonna go ahead and apply it. It's double-sided, so. All right, so we went ahead and made a good, clean cut. Now, this is the tricky part. I guess we could use our knife. It is extremely sticky. Look at that, you can see it. It's got this little film here that you pull off. We're just gonna go a little bit at a time while we put this on. We'll make sure it's right there on the edge with no. And I'm going to pull it off as I go. I'm going to lay this out actually. Just like this. Because I want to make sure it has a good seal down here. No issues. Nice and slow. Let me move you guys over here. So where we get to these ridges, this is where it's, we're going to have to st stick it down in here. Same with there. And it's a little flexible, so it can expand and actually form the proper way. I need to come back up this way, though. And it's actually black, so it looks pretty good on here. 
Oh, I almost lost it. Right here, we're going to have to get stuck down in there. Well, this side here kind of curved on me. A little bubble there. Right over the edge. And you want to make sure you go over the edge because if you don't, let me show you. Take it right over the edge. It's got a little bubble in here. Kind of like a screen protector too. You can probably get the bubbles out if you work on it a little bit. As long as it's sealed on the edges though, I think we should be good. Especially down in here. This gives it some room to flex. But you want to make sure you go over the edge here. And we're going to cut this nice and square across there to make it look good. I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Once again, the reason you go over the edge there is because the water will run off and won't sit up here. So I think we're good. We've got another piece of layer there. We'll see if that actually stops it. And we'll keep you guys updated. We might have to pull all this off and redo it, but we'll have to buy some more tape for that, or maybe we'll caulk it or something if uh, somebody gives us some good suggestions in the comments. But I think this might do it for now, and we'll see. All right, guys, so we got that all taken care of, put on there nice and smooth on the back side. Like I said, we only had a little bit of tape, so we're going to see if that little bit actually helps us and actually takes care of the situation. Please. Put something in the comments if you guys have something or have dealt with this so that I can actually um, address it as well. I cut myself. Ha. Anyway, it don't really matter. Um, but as you can see, it looks like it's actually going to start raining. So we're going to leave actually the ranger out. We're going to see if it works. And we'll keep you guys updated. So th thank you for coming back to the channel. We couldn't do this without you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, here on Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see you.